Dude, you touch me one more time, we're gonna have a problem. I'm not I'm not him. I'm not him. I'm not him. I tell you that right now. I'm not him. Give me my motherfucking microphone. Wait, that's my property. You assaulted me. That's my property. Get out of their face. No. No, you have no right. No, you have no right. You have no right. That's assault. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is Will Turbot here for Demand the Truth on behalf of Auditing America. Thank you for joining us. We're here live in Providence, Rhode Island, behind the armory on Cranston, Rhode Island, uh, pardon me, Providence, Rhode Island, on Cranston Street, and we have the Rhode Island Coalition Against Gun Violence here. Now, this group is an anti-gun group. They're trying to ban guns. Auditing and I are going to go over there and ask them some simple, logical questions. We have Senator Josh Miller here in the pink. Um, let's, gonna go, let's go talk to him. Hey Josh, good to see you. Good to see How's you. How are you? Good. 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 Will here. What do you think we should do about the epidemic of gun violence here in the United States? I don't know. Who are you? I'm Will. Will who? Yes, Will Turbin. From where? From myself. From what do you mean for yourself? Who's this guy? Sure. Who's this guy? <laughs> He's the guy with the camera. What We're organization? Asking, would you, you ask represent? the same question on myself? I'm a concerned citizen. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know most would you of ask the reporters that question? Yeah, but town. would you ask the same question if I was NBC 10? I'm just, a, I'm just asking. Yeah, what do you think? Because I would know you. They were NBC exactly, 10. Exactly, and I, I'm not somebody. And I don't know who you are. And the reason I don't associate with NBC 10 or are WGR. Are you a journalist? I'm, that's what I'm trying to get. I'm an activist. Sir. Well, we I'm have freedom of the press. Activist for who? We have freedom I'm of the myself. press I'm in the United States. Well, that's what I'm asking. What press are you? We're just asking questions. Freedom of the press. So the reason why we're here is we let. We can all. We have a YouTube. We have YouTube. We have other channels. press? What YouTube? What Th press? There's several. There's several. Okay, you're not identifying. Yourself, okay, I, okay. So I'm not interviewing you. We're you. the people. We have I'm freedom asking, of the press. I'm people, I'm the people. They're the people. Okay, so What's what should we do? What does that mean? So I'm just asking, what should we do about Why? the epidemic of gun violence? What's your solution? A ban assault weapons. A ban. Um, I'm from. I'm from Demand magazines. the Truth too. The only reason I was saying that is. Because I don't know what demand the truth is. It, you, Anybody can say demand the truth. Oh, you're absolutely right. Well, but, we're the number one. We're the number one YouTube channel in, in Rhode Island. We have okay, over 20 million you. views. You. So that's you want to know who we are. One follow-up follow question, and I'll, I'll leave you alone yeah, for the right. remainder of today. Okay. Uh, we had a, a, a ban on assault weapons. You know, in England, there's a total ban on guns there. And people are getting stabbed and hit with uh, stabbed at the rate of forty thousand people a year. I don't no, but I'm so. saying. But my, no, my question okay, is this: no. Do you think you can I legislate you morality? Can legislate. Do you no, think? I do you think, think criminals are going to play? I think we can legislate um, how many weapons there are. Do you think criminals will follow the laws you pass? Because last I checked, there's a law against murder and rape, but criminals still do it. Do you think even if you pass that, I don't think it's a realistic solution. I'm just trying to have critically think. Okay, thank you. Oh, you check that out. Hi. <laughs> She's famous. Hey, she knows who I am. She's famous. <laughs> I asked him a question he can't respond to, so now he's gonna go tell people about that the fact that I'm here. You see that right there? He got caught. He's laughing at caught. It's so funny, Doug. Oh my god. Like he's like a tattletale from fifth grade. Oh, that guy's asking me questions I can't respond to, so I'm gonna go tell on him. How crazy is that, right? And it looks like uh so look, we're, there's some other state reps here, um, so we're going to see if we can't talk to some people and some other folks what's going on. What do you think we should do about the epidemic of gun violence, sir? Go away. How would that, how would that help the people that are affected by gun violence? Please go away. Sure. What do you think about the epidemic of gun violence? Are there any solutions here? I want to prevent gun, gun violence just as much as you. I do. Actually, I've done a lot more than you have, and I'm asking you for actual pragmatic solutions. Well, then why are you here holding a sign? Because I don't want to speak with you. Who, why, who are you better than me? Absolutely. Yeah. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, whoa, 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 hey, whoa, whoa, that's whoa, whoa. assault. That's assault buddy. Oh, you oh, took. You can't touch me. Give him back his property. Give him back his property. Give me back my property right now. Give him. I didn't touch that. anybody. Give me back my property. That's assault. Give me back that property right now. That's assault. Give it back to me right now. That's assault. You cannot assault innocent people. You're using your white privilege right now to assault me. Excuse How dare you? Don't put How your hands you? on him. How dare you? Don't Give me put my your microphone now. You're using your white privilege. Get out of here. Don't put Give your hands my, on him. It's you're all... using violence. We're against violence here. And you're violent, Tommy? He's violent. You're using violence against me with your white privilege? I don't care. I'm asking you a question. I'm trying to solve gun violence. And call. you assault I'm... me? I'm you assault call me? Call the police. Call the police. He took his property. I am. Thank you. 
He took his property. Give me my motherfucking microphone. Wait, that's my property. You assaulted me. That's my property. Get out of their face. No. No, you have no right. Property. No, you have no right. You have no right. That's assault. That's assault. You can't assault people, dog. That's assault. To be against violence, and you assault you. Oh, is that a good solution to gun violence? You're just gonna fight me? Are you gonna punch me? What are you gonna do? Somebody says get out of there, right? Get out of there. He's outside gun, but he's violent. Oh, chill, dog. Chill, dog. Asshole. Yup, leave. We're citizen journalists. Have some respect. Have some respect. Just back off. No, he needs to back off. He's assault. No, he assaulted that's, that's my friend. Yeah, he, he assaulted my friend. That's assault. That's actually right. theft. Okay. No, it's okay. Why Pat, what do you think here? we can do about the epidemic of violence? Sorry, I can't talk right now because I have to get started. But sure. I just want to apologize. Um, and I know, like, you know, you guys really have a right to be here, so. Get the fuck out of my face. No. Why are you being rude? Not like, you know, you guys really have a right to be here, so I appreciate that. Um, yeah, and I'm sorry that Absolutely out of hand. No, listen, um, I've actually been, I, I know you know some of my friends, I, I know you represent Jesus. Smith. I've been wanting to talk to you for a while about I, a number of things. I can't talk right now, but I, I would love to cannot. talk to you after. We will follow up. Another. Whoa. Well, they're sure peaceful here. And that's the interesting thing, and we have, uh, we have this guy here, we have ABC6, and they're focusing on us. ABC6 is really interesting, too. This woman right here, she is not ashamed to work for the big pharmaceutical companies. This woman right here, she gets her paychecks from Big Pharma. She gets her paychecks from the Sinclair Broadcast Group. And she also gets her paychecks from humongous large corporations that profit off these very tragedies. And she doesn't care. She's got way too much makeup on. And she's working. She's working as a shill for all these large corporations. She doesn't care about integrity. She doesn't care about being a journalist. She doesn't care at all. She just she just pimps herself out for these big pharma companies. She just pimps herself out for these big pharma companies. Fake news. Totally fake. He, this is this lady's a shill for big pharma. Good luck. Good luck. You're gonna be you're gonna be famous. All right. You're gonna be famous. Sir. No, it's sir. freedom of speech. No, We're all no. here for okay. to deliver a message. But sir, I just talked to his wife, and she felt very threatened with the microphone in her face and so he was he did not put it on her face protecting her. He, he did not put it on her face he was asking her a question Very and there's politely. no reason for him to behave that way i've never i've never i've never done anything violent to anybody i'm, violent I'm, I'm sorry i i used to work as a crisis interventionist so i'm like no i'm glad that you I did just that. wanted to protect you intimidate you yeah. how how does my camera intimidate you pictures of this which you're going to show to hundred thousands of people right well you're exercising your first amendment right correct by being here yeah. so am i we have freedom of the press it's a first amendment protected activity isn't it camera guy first amendment first amendment just because i don't have a billion dollars and and a huge building and a ten thousand dollar camera doesn't mean anything why? Because I get more viewers than them that actually have the money for it. You should care because you're in public. I'm sorry? I said on all your viewers are nuts. All my viewers are nuts? I said on all your viewers are nuts. All my viewers are nuts? Why? Oh, really? Why am I crazy? Because you're anti-democratic and you're a sociopath. You have no clue. Really? about anything that I believe in. Well, why would you please be keep here? Your, please keep your distance. Why don't you keep please yours keep your distance. and get out of here? Please keep your distance. Why don't you keep your please distance? Please keep your distance. You see what I'm saying? You're nuts. You're nuts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've never seen so many people so many violent people together in one place, that's for sure. Yeah, we can't wait to exercise. I can, I can say anything. Yeah, anybody can say anything. But I can't, can I can't reach out and rip something off yeah. from you. you that's right. You want, you that's know, right. Right. And she just violated my personal and space. Guy, it's so funny because we're at a place <laughs> yep. for non-violence and he's looking up for the guy that's Are you drunk? <laughs> Are you drunk? Your personal space? That's right. You're violating if our you're, personal within, space. Within arm's reach, Spoiling you need to stay away from me. This is my personal space, too.
you. I live this right is, over there. This is her so personal she, space. He is not violating We're just talking my space. to her. We're just talking. She's he cool. Is, he is not. I'm not violating. He's not violating your space. No. I'm not doing not. anything to or anyone here scale, except man. videotaping. And I think you should just calm down and stop being so calm. Let's go on to the other side. Let's take a little I'm walk. Very, what? I'm very calm. Okay, but what you just said is very provocative. No, you're not. You you were trying to intimidate me. Yes, you were. I just today I realized I'm jealous. Guess what? How are you? Quick question: What do you think we can do to end the gun violence that's going on here in the United States? I think we need to. I don't really want to talk to you right now. I know you never want to talk to me, but I'm, that doesn't mean I'm going to quit. I'm, and, and okay. let me tell you, let me tell you, I honestly, I honestly want to solve the problem. I don't think. I mean, you guys might call me crazy or whatever I am. Well, but I've never met you, and I would be actually really game to have a conversation. You have met me before. I've, I've okay. actually talked to you on video, and I've emailed you and called your office several times. I've act, I have it on my YouTube page. I've no, I spoke to you. Thank you. Thanks for interrupting our conversation. She's an elected rep uh, representative. That's okay. I'm telling you. Wow, disrespectful. There's nothing but disrespectful people here. What's, what's the solution? Thank you for being here. Do you think Thank Do you, you think avoiding conversation is, is the solution? Avoiding is, is, is having stronger sense gun laws to ensure that guns are not in the hands of the wrong people. Okay, That's one follow-up question. I will leave you alone. All right. Do you, I'm give you one. Okay, let me just ask you one follow-up question. I promise I'll leave you alone. I agree with you, right? But what's to, what's to stop criminals from following laws? Last I checked, there was a law against rape, murder, and drugs, but people still do that. Do you think that these laws will be tough enough that the that a criminal will say, oh shoot, there's a law, I'm gonna stop? So why should we make it more easy for criminals to have access to guns? So if we have stronger sense gun laws, then it'll be much easy, it'll be much harder for these criminals to actually get access to these guns. And what makes someone a criminal? Someone is not born a criminal. Things right. happen in their lives that may cause You're them to do certain things. You're a criminal if you commit a crime. If you commit a crime, Correct. but there are things in certain um, in socioeconomic situations, of course. Health, of education, course. but what we can do, is that we can we can make sure that we implement stronger sense gun laws to prevent whoever from getting access to certain high capacity weapons I that should not be on the I appreciate streets. your time. I would respectfully disagree that criminals aren't gonna follow the law because the last two shootings in California they already had the law and it happened, but I appreciate you at least speaking. Criminals don't follow the law, right? You can ban weapons all you want. The last two shootings that happened in California, <laughs> they banned that type of weapon, it still happened. In England, there's no guns whatsoever, but people get acid in their face and stabbed. Sir, what do you think we can do about the epidemic of gun violence? I think we can do a lot of things. What's your first take? What the most important thing? Well, I think the most important thing would be to follow the Massachusetts uh, laws that were passed. Uh, Massachusetts is now the lowest gun fatality rate in the nation because it's passed laws that are common sense. I'm a gun owner. As a gun owner, I think that there are certain restrictions that can be placed on people to keep uh, people from being killed. And uh, the common thing I'll hear back is that criminals don't follow laws anyways. So you could pass Very. a bunch of laws and they're still gun violence. How are you doing? Do you, do you think that a criminal right. would, yeah. just a few minutes. would, would, would give a second thought to murdering somebody uh, based on a law? Well, you know, if you can't get an assault weapon, you can't use it to kill Once again, people. Again, if we are you familiar with the black market, sir? I'm very familiar with the black market. So, in Australia, there's a gun ban, but they get guns in there. So, people can always get How many? How many people have been killed? in mass shootings in Australia. Well, actually, there's... One How many people the, have been killed by guns in Australia over the past a, 20 years? Quite a bit. What's happened How is, many? Tell me. I don't know quite the, a bit. I don't know the statistics off my top of my head, but you know what's well, happened since want, then? The motorcycle, you know the, the motorcycle gangs... You want to know the statistics? The yeah, statistics sure, are sure. that nearly none. But do you know who've been killed? How many people get killed in the United States please from don't guns? Me, please don't talk to me. Do you know how many people die from guns in the United States? A hundred a freaking day. Sure. So Not a hundred in a year die in Australia. So, so how do you figure that? Okay, so what I'm trying to say to you, sir, is... I know they, what you're trying to say, what but you're not making say? any sense. No, I'm saying is, the crim are there still murders in Australia, sir? Yeah, there are. Okay, so people use other means other than guns, right? You ever hear of a drive-by knifing? In, in England, how many people get killed in drive-by knifing? In England, How many people sir? die? from a knifing 
how in many, Australia how many from people one died in the United tunnel. States? How many people in the United how States died from drive-by die? shootings? How many people in the United States died from drive-by shootings? Well, you, how many? You, you, you're you the fat call, guy. You're the fat guy. You want to call? There's a hundred a day that die from shootings. There's, I'm talking about drive-by. That's the point well, you brought up. I'm well, the point I'm bringing up. But drive-by can in, be anything. I mean, the guy that drove. So then that's a moot the point. So don't bring that point up. Then don't bring that point up because that's a that's a moot point. It's moot in your mind because you haven't got the capacity to understand the way gun violence really works in America. I happen, I happen to have a good understanding of how gun violence works. We have over 300 million guns in possession of citizens in this country. We have by far the highest gun fatality rate of because any nation, let's any just say, let's nation say, let's say you ban all in the, the world. Let's say hypothetically you ban all of them. I know, I know you're not. So why are you saying that? I'm saying it's hypothetically. Not what I'm saying is hypothetically. It's it's not not we're having a conversation. We can talk whatever we want. But everybody just speak along with us, okay? You don't These have to tell people what to do. These words are written by Cheryl Wheeler. You know, you've got a problem. Nice local. I'm having a conversation with you. I'm having a conversation. No? No. And it's... Called, if it were up to me, I'm Jody. Hi. Brenda. Next, I would like to welcome up our incredible U.S. Congressman, Congressman Let's David Cicilline, who has been an unrelenting Boo. force for the assault weapons. problem is one in five guns are sold without a background check. It's a huge loophole. So that legislation, which the House passed in a bipartisan way, is sitting on Mitch McConnell's desk. Thank you all so much for being here. Foreign relations? Shoot. The Council on Foreign Relations. It's a white supremacist group. Why would you join that? You're a member of the Council on Foreign Relations right on the website. You're talking about people here talking about white supremacy, but the Council on Foreign Relations was created by literal white supremacists. We're talking about the Rockefeller family, We're talking about JP Morgan in their own writings. Why are you a member of the Council on Foreign Relations, which is a white supremacist group? I don't think you're actually. What is the Council on Foreign Relations, sir? Why did you join you're the Council on Foreign Relations? You're a tyrant. You're a tyrant. What about the trilateral? You're system? a tyrant. Didn't, didn't one of the you should feel ashamed of yourself. Walk a shame. Sir, Walk a I, shame. I just want to know the Council on Foreign Relations, why did you join it? I will leave you alone. Just tell me the, why did you join the Council on Foreign Relations? You know that's an elite club of rich banksters, right? And corporations. It's not, it's right on the website. If, yeah, it absolutely is. You can you can go right now. Bank of America is a corporate sponsor. Raytheon is a corporate sponsor. So so you're talking. No, no, it's right on the Council on Foreign Relations website. Raytheon is a corporate member. So is N.A. Rothschild. It's right on there. So you're speaking about gun violence while being sponsored by Raytheon. Tyrant. The world's largest manufacturer of weapons. Why did you join the Council on Foreign Relations, Mr. Reed? Your facts are all... No, you're wrong. Are you, are you telling me? You're a tyrant a for being here right, right now. Are you're a tyrant for being here okay, right now. Let me ask you a question. Okay, so Raytheon, Ray, Ray, Raytheon is, not a, is not a corporate member of the Council on Foreign Relations. They very well might be. So that, that my facts are correct. They absolutely are. So no. is Bank of America. You can go right on their website and check it out. No, they are. are. Are you denying the fact that Bank of America is a member of the Council on Foreign Relations corporate membership? Yes or no? I'm not a member. Member of you are not, but you are a pub a you are a public member of the Council on Foreign Relations. Why did you join the Council on Foreign Relations? If you tell me, I'll just let you go, sir. I don't. I really don't want to harass you. I just want to know why you joined no. the Council on Foreign sure, Relations. Why did you join the Council on Foreign Relations, sir? Don't touch me, please. He's a tyrant, bro. Why did you join the Council on Foreign Relations? To bump into you. Okay, that's He's fine, but I just want to. Yeah, because I, because I wanted. Why to know are you running? The, the richest, most elite I'm white not. people in the world are a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. Well, why did you join that? Yes, I'm not rich. Okay, are you a member of the Council on Foreign Relations? And why do you serve your country by trying, by trying to impede the, the Second Amendment? How, 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 did, did you take an oath to the Constitution? Did you take an oath to the Constitution? So then joining the Council on Foreign Relations is against your oath. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. You're a tyrant. You're lying that Raytheon is not tyrant. a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. You're a white supremacist. You're a tyrant. You're pretending you're progressive and you're working with Raytheon. 
You're trying to ban guns and you work with Raytheon. You killed your complicit in all those murders. All the Iraq war, buddy. You were there, buddy. You're complicit. You're a white supremacist murderer. Council for Relations piece of trash. You hang around white supremacists a lot? You think that's cool? These are, hey, I want to let you know, little girl. These are your heroes. These old people are trying to trick you. White supremacists, like I got right there. Look it up. Everything I said is a fact. It's right on their Council on Foreign Relations website. You know, you only come to the hood every once in a while. Learn, little girl. You'll see. These guys are tyrants. White supremacists. They're tricking you, young girl. Let's go get Cicilline's fucking stupid ass. Who are you confronting? Councilwoman Sabrina, Sabina Mackle. Hold my phone, record it right there. I'm about to that, that's fine, but so they're more important than me? Yes. I don't even know who you are, so let me just finish. So the, they were, so they the people were, that work for the opioid and the large corporations yeah. are more important than a citizen journalist, sir? Hey. So Dude, you always in front of my fucking camera. Get the fuck out the way. What what fault do you have to bear for the Providence schools and disarray, Mr. Cicilline? What do you have to say about the Providence schools? You know, I'm glad that you're laughing and joking, Mr. Cicilline, but Providence, I went to this Providence school, sir. It happened on your time. What are the solutions here? You can't just show up in Grand Street. I only see you in the hood on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, sir. There's someone who's been waiting to meet and, and guess what? Them. They only see him at the massage oh, parlors on Bayer Street. Constituents, great. Hey, guess what? Cicely, I'm not. I'm not. Step away from me. Step away from me. I can stay wherever I want to stay. Cicely, okay, out of my face. Cicely, don't touch me, brother. What responsibility do you have to be here? I'm sorry. I'm going this way. I didn't know you were right. I was going to tell you. Cicely, don't recognize everybody. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. I did not touch him. He touched me. Do not touch an employee of mine, sir. I will. I will tell you. I didn't touch him. He touched me. Do not push anyone here. You're lying. Do not push anyone here. You're lying. You're lying. You're a tyrant. About the problem schools. Hey, get away from me. Get away from me, yo. What the hell's your problem? You can't. Cheers to you. You need to get away from me. That's what you need to do. Right I'm not privileged. You're not? You're wearing a freaking pink shirt and boat shoes, dog. What the hell? <laughs> what are you, your purple you shirt? Yeah, I'm, and not, you I'm not privileged like you. People, you look like you just and fell you're just off trying a freaking to make money. Boat, dog. You're going to put it on the web and you're making, you're making millions and you're a big look. famous yes. person. We don't appreciate it. I don't care, not like an old man like you. Wow, look at this, assaulting me. State, a senate, state senate is assaulting me. Oh, nice. How much have you had to drink? Funny that you like to laugh Anything illegal on you? Mind if I search you? Dude, you touch me one more time, we're going to have a problem. I'm not, I'm not him. I'm not him. I'm not him. I'll tell you that right now. I'm not him. Touch me one more time, we're going to have a problem. I'm not him. That's a promise. Don't touch me. You better get you better get away from me, dude. You better get away from me, dude. You need to back up. There you go, guys. Tyrant oh, politicians God. from Rhode Island. Oh, my pleasure. Tyrant politicians. Yeah. All he does is go to the massage parlors on Providence on Thay Thayer Street. We're going to tax you now. Okay. Tyrant politicians. Of course, it's great to be, to be a tyrant, right? Tyrant you are. You should do the same thing as the governor of Puerto Rico. Resign. Resign. Yep. Resign.
Guys, this guy hates the Second Amendment. He hates the Second Amendment. His name is David Cicilline, and he hates the Constitution of the United David States. Cicilline? That is... The congressman? Yep. Of Rhode Island. That's right. Right here. That's right. He's here right now. That's it. David Cicilline? Yep, that's him. That's, that's the man. That's him. And you're filming it. I'm filming it. On your camera. It's the second time I got him. You, you, you got him right there on your camera. I got the governor last night. You got the well, you got the governor right on your camera. That's right. That's crazy. It's it, right there on your camera. That's good. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's good. You should, don't you have a phone? Do the same thing. So we know they work, but one in five guns are purchased without a battery chip. So. This closes that huge loophole. It doesn't make a real difference. Tyrant alert. 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 Guys, make sure you subscribe to Auditing America, the number one YouTube channel on in Rhode Island. Please share, like, and subscribe. Look at him. He talks for the fake news. He won't talk to the real news. He won't do that. Why don't you mind your own business, lady? We're not talking to you. Look at this lady. She got seven pounds of makeup on that face. They would never cover a real story. I'll tell you that. i tell you that. I got the best stories in my channel. Look it up. Videos don't lie. You guys do. You all lie. This is all fake, guys. This is all fake. Don't believe a word they say. Freedom of speech is great, isn't it? Freedom of speech is great. Yes. 